just making sure this microphone works. Is it working? You hear me okay? Fantastic. Tell you what, whilst we're waiting, hands up whose favorite doctor is number one. We're going to see who's most popular. Okay, hands up number two. Number three. Number four. Oh, there's a couple there. Number five. Number six. One there. Oh, there, there, there. Number seven. Yeah. Who were? Uh, number eight. Oh, that's a shame. Number nine. Oh, one there, two there. Number 10. There it is. Yeah. Oh, yes. Gotta love number 10. Number 11. Oh, there's a, there's a lightsaber that's gone up at the back. <laughs> uh, number 12. Oh, oh, good. Quite right, too. Number 12. And number 13. But yeah, I <laughs> should have guessed the third. <laughs> and then how about War Doctor? Oh, there's a couple War Doctor. Good. And Fugitive. Oh, one over there. <laughs> There's a picture. Never want to turn down a picture. <laughs> oh, how about Lenny Henry's doctor? There we go, there's one. <laughs> I did you one there, yeah. I'm trying to think of this. There's it. Rowan Atkinson's doctor. There, good, 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 yes. Peter Cushing doctor. Fantastic. I need to stop going because that I just realized we're leaning into a question in the quiz. <laughs> Should probably quickly explain, this is going to be mostly a quiz with a lot of community shout outs throughout and then finally we're going to do a Q&A at the end if for whatever reason you want to hear the opinions of these guys. These lot over there, they don't even know if I'm talking to them or not. Hi, how you doing? Hi. All right. It's all about me really. Oh, hey guys. Hi. Thanks for coming. It's very kind of you. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I've just got my eyes on the cameraman over there. I'm waiting for an okay. It's 11 o'clock. Hello. Are we ready to start? Hello. Sorry. <laughs> I'm an eager beaver. What can I say? <laughs> All good to go. Fantastic. Well, once again, let's make some noise. How are we doing today? Yes, that's what we like to hear. Welcome to Doctor Who, the community show live. I am your host, Jack Reeves. Good to see it. Hands up. Who's actually watched the community show? Just out of very just curiosity. A few. I will take that as a compliment. And the rest of you, I hope you seek me out later on. So, without further ado, let's invite some beautiful guests on. First of all, you may know her from her audio production company, TT Productions, or as her impression of a Victorian chambermaid, Jenny Flint. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Abby Louise. And next, yep. You may have seen him yesterday at the Project Dalek panel, and he is the host of the Who Knew podcast, which gets on some fantastic guests. I should know I was one of them. Josh Carr, ladies and gentlemen. And finally, you may know him from his famous pub crawl, which stretched across many different pubs, ending at the world's end. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary King, AKA Jude Lammas. So, how are you all feeling? Great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> lovely. Oh, it's working, lovely. <laughs> right, so, without further ado, let me explain how this quiz is gonna work. There are eight questions in total, four of them, are about everyone you see on stage. So we'll have an Abby question, a Josh question, a Jude question, and oh a Jack no. question. There's a lot of J's, I just realized. Can you change your name to Jabby? I can be Jenny. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go, the four J's. The, uh, there are two that are about the Doctor Who community itself. And then there's two final ones about Doctor Who itself. And sorry, I'm just going to hit pause. It appears that uh, the Daleks have invaded our panel. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> Oi, this is, you had your panel yesterday, Daleks. What do we do? This is genuinely terrifying. Uh, Doctor, have you got your Sonic? <laughs> oh, God. If you've got your Sonic screwdrivers, feel free this to use really them. This is really intimidating. This is this horrible. This is the most time oh fracture thing I've ever ah, seen. Stop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oi, get back. <laughs> Oi. Oi, shoo, mate. This one's giving for charity. I feel bad saying to you. But the rest of you, get back, you. Scar, get back. Scar. And you, Mr. Bro take some pictures, please take pictures. You, Mr. Classic over there, what are you doing? You all right, mate? 
This is actually terrifying, isn't it? I know, it's actually scary. quite scary. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Time Fracture may be closing, but I've brought it to you. <laughs> And make sure after this panel yeah, to go scary. check out Project Dalek over here. They've got a TARDIS console as well. It's incredible. Everybody, give it your hands together. Give your hands together. Put your hands together for the Daleks, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! <laughs> Thank you all I very much. I don't think they're leaving. <laughs> they're going to stay and watch. <laughs> Time War Part 2, brought to you by Doctor Who, the community show, apparently. Get out of here, Scar. Go on. Get out of it. Get out of it, you. Give him a little kick. Yeah, I don't want him. I know how much they cost. <laughs> Jack, they're made of Dalekanium. Damn, you're right. Oh, he set off the alarm. Go on, quick. The doctor's over there. Go get him. Yes. <laughs> okay. I promise to be good. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, get back to the 60s, you. Well said. So, without further ado, let's get on with this quiz. The first question is about Doctor Who poop. Do we have any Doctor Who poop lovers in the room? Oh, we've got a few. We've got a few. Now, I love Doctor Who poop. They've got so many weird and strange sort of catchphrases they've come up with over the years that certain characters have said or they've made them say. I'd like you to fill in the blanks. So we've got three here. <laughs> oh, no. No swearing, Louise. Thank God you didn't do that into the mic then. So, first is, it's a Pertwee quote. What a blank idea. So what a blank idea. Feel free to play along in the audience. I'll shout out the answer when we get there. So what a blank idea. The second one. This is a bit easier. Ryan blank, don't you dare. They made this into a song. It's a fantastic song. I'd recommend it. Okay, and the third one. It's an Eccleston quote. Get in the blank. Get in the blank. Okay, have we all got an answer down? Yes. I do. Yes, yes. I'm yes. all good. Abby, hey, you so look worried. Sure. Sure, she says speak. sure. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll slowly turn our board around. Jude, do you want to turn it around first? Okay. So, what a splendid idea. Ryan Sinclair, don't you dare get in the church. Josh, turn yours around. Um, it's probably wrong. Oh, so we've got lovely instead, but the same two for the others. And Abby? Abby proves that she's never seen Doctor Who poop. Outed. What a cosmic idea. Ryan Sinclair, don't you there? <laughs> and get in the shed. Get in the <laughs> shed. <laughs> Who would say something so foolish? <laughs> Shush you. Right. Jo uh, Jude, you've got them all right. Oh, yay. Three points to you. Two points to Josh. One measly point Abby Louise. <laughs> Now, the next question is about the lovely Josh Carr. Hey. We all love Josh Carr. Everybody oh, say, in. I love you, Josh. I love you, Josh. <laughs> Sorry, Thanks. Josh. Anywho. At least someone does. Now, as I said earlier, Josh hosts the Who Knew podcast. It is a fantastic podcast, and he gets guests on from the show oh, as well, as well as from people in the community. I want you to tell me, out of these three, which has he not had on? Josh, I hope you get this one. If I get this <laughs> wrong, honestly... So, I might yeah. just leave. Rob Shearman, writer of Dalek, among others. Katie Manning, a.k.a. Joe Grant. And Paul Cornell, writer of Human Nature, as among others. So I'll repeat that. Rob Shearman, Katie Manning, Paul Cornell. Which is you not had on? Let's all turn around at the same time. Let me see what you got. I'm a fake fan, Katie I think. Manning. Paul Cornell, Paul, Paul Cornell is the correct answer. Jude. One to Sorry. Josh, You've been one on to the Abby. podcast. I know. Uh, I've, my memory's rubbish. That's why it's cute. I'm also here to, to crush friendships, by the way. This is the reason for those kind of questions. So next is a Doctor Who question. By my feet, I have three Tenth Doctor items. I have this sonic screwdriver here. Ooh. I'll put that there. I have these 3D glasses Ooh. here. Ooh, <laughs> ah, yes. And I have this TARDIS crystal. Ooh. I would like you, hello, I would like you to tell me which of these three items did not appear in the 10th Doctor's tenure. So from 2006 to 2009, which of these three did not appear? 
I like the confusion. You this is the confusion question. I think I know what you're doing here. Do you now? I think I do. Well, we'll soon find out. Jot it down, Mr. Jude. Also, I hope you're keeping track you. of your own scores, by the way. No. Yes. Might want to do that. <laughs> okay, okay. Jude, turn yours around. You've got the screwdriver. Okay, Josh. Sonic, Sonic. Sonic. Can you have it? Can, Jude, 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 Jude. Yes. You seem confident. Yeah. Why did you put the Sonic? Well, looking at that screwdriver, it's a sort of cream color. Yeah. And I think that's the Eccleston one, and the 10th one is sort of the more gray. You're close. Oh. That screwdriver is a bit yellow. Oh, I see. And I'll tell you why. This is the Day of the Doctor version, not in his tenure. You are all correct. Sonic right. screwdriver. Even though it's technically for the wrong reason, it still counts. But well done. Give him a clap. Oh, well done. Thought I had him for that. Came up with that question last night. Anyway, the next question, if Face ID works, is about Abby Louise. So there we go. Gotta get it wrong. Yeah. Actually, before we get on to that, should we do a points check? Jude, how many have you got? Four. Four. Yeah. Josh? I have four. Four. Three. Ooh. It's all still to play, but everybody go, ooh. Ooh. Ooh, indeed. Abby Louise, let's get on to you. Now, Abby, I mentioned her audio work, but I also want to mention her cosplay work. I even had you on very recently for the community show episode tonight, all about cosplay. I'd like you to tell me, I'd like you to tell me, which of these three characters has she not cosplayed as? All right, not. Flip Jackson, the audio companion. Jenny, AKA the doctor's daughter or Clara Oswald, the 11th Doctor's companion. So that's Flip, Jenny the Doctor's daughter, and Clara. And also, for a bonus point, can you tell me a, another character that she has cosplayed? Just any other. Although I should mention, ladies and gentlemen, that if they put the same answer, they don't get the point. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, uh, Abby, we might as well start with you, as you'll know the answer. Well, I haven't written down the second answer yet, but sure. I'll, I'll, <laughs> yeah, right, I'll wait then. Josh, let's go to you. What do you think? Uh, I've written um, Clara. Clara. And you've put Jenny Flint, I point, have. point. Jude? I've gone with Clara and Perry. Point, point. And Abby? Clara and Mrs. Clark. Point, point. Two points to each of you. These are evenly matched, ladies and gentlemen. They're doing very well. No clear winner yet. Now, last time we did this, there was a clear winner for a while, Mr. Dom. I see you in the front. But he didn't actually win. So it's very, very interesting. The next question's back to the Doctor Who community. And funnily, I should mention you, Dom, as it's about fan doctors. Now, this community has a lot of fan doctors. I see two in the front row. But I'd like you to tell me, you three, out of these six names, which of them are real and which of them have I made up? Stop so me. you can either write down the fake ones or the real ones. That is up to you. Listening closely. The purple doctor. The blue doctor. The little doctor. The cravat doctor. The echo doctor. And the fantastic doctor. I will repeat those. Purple. Blue Little, Cravat, Echo, and Fantastic. Okay, okay. Le let's go with Abby first. What do we think? Right, so fake, I've got little and fantastic. Fake, you've got little and fantastic. Okay, Josh, what have you got? Real. Yeah. I have purple. Yeah. Little. Okay. Cravat. Okay. And echo. Bear in mind there's three of each. Purple. <laughs> Cravat <laughs> and Echo. Okay, and Jude, Thank what you. have you got? I've gone purple, little, and Echo. Okay, so the real doctors. The purple doctor. I should hope you all got that right, because he's, again, he's sat right in there. the front row. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Dominic G. Martin, give him a hand. Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Don't give him that. <laughs> he gets it enough. He didn't even wear purple. <laughs> Love you, I'm kidding. So the purple doctor is real. The cravat doctor is real. And the Echo Doctor is real. Nailed it. Yes, the blue Doctor I made up. The little Doctor, I just chopped off the red of Luke Newman. And Fantastic Doctor, I just thought that was do, funny. Do we get a point for each? A point for each, yes. Yeah, 
Now, before we get on to the Jude Lavis question, let's do another point check. Abby, how are we doing on points? Eight. Eight. Josh? Nine. Nine. Jude? Eight. Ooh, Ooh. indeed. Jude. Ooh, I keep Because I, I look over and I want to say Jude because you're the closest. Josh is in the lead. Jude Lavis, you have a point to make here. Jude has five favorite doctors. This is a fun fact about you. That, that's correct, right? That is correct. I even asked you this a couple weeks ago, very cheekily. And let's they're hope they're the same five. Correct. They're all in his Twitter banner. So let's see who's following him on Twitter. I'd like you to tell me which one is, which five are his favorites. All five? All five. <laughs> point for each. You're, you're really mean. And for a bonus point, which of them is his ultimate favorite? According <laughs> he told to us about ten minutes ago. <laughs> let's hope you've forgotten. <laughs> <sighs> Love it when they confer. Okay, I'll wait a moment. Well, I have a bad memory. <laughs> okay, okay. How we doing? How we doing? I really need to get this right. Yeah, you do. I'm a really yeah. slow writer. Do I get a point for each correct one? Every point. What? Every <laughs> one you Every get a point. point for. It's good when the host can't talk, isn't it? It's great. All right. Uh, whilst Josh writes, uh, Abby, let's go to you first. <laughs> go on. Go on. Oh, right. If you I've make got... us write five doctors, yeah. okay. you give us time. No. Right, I've got <laughs> six, nine, fugitive, 12, and two. I probably should have just written Jenny the numbers. Then. <laughs> okay. yeah. I've got six, nine, fugitive, 12, and two. Good. Thank you, Jenny, for your point. <laughs> right, uh, Josh, let's go to you. Um, uh, I've got six, yes. 12, right. two, Lovely. 11, Lit. nine, six. Jude, let's see. I've got three, six, nine, twelve, and fugitive. And who did you put as your ultimate favourite? Six. Is correct. So, oh. Jude, you get six to remind I had, you. I had six as the top as well. Well done. Bonus point to you. So, six at the top. to repeat, fugitive, <laughs> six, twelve, three, and nine are the favourites. Do we agree? Do we agree, ladies and gentlemen, with his picks? One yes. <laughs> Popular answer there, Jude. Beautiful. Beautiful. We've got two more questions to go before I get the prizes out. In fact, why don't I show you what you're playing for? Just to make the last couple rounds that little bit more tense. I've hidden them behind here. So, first, oh, actually, I didn't know how to order these. So, tell you what, whoever gets first just gets first dibs. Okay. Ooh. This is one of the prizes. Supremacy of the Cybermen, a multi-doctor comic book that I think is very, very good. So I'm going to put that there. That's there. I'm watching. No one better run up and steal it. The next prize is a metal sonic screwdriver that works as a real screwdriver. And if you put batteries in it, like I'm I didn't, it. No, I'm it taking makes it, Josh. the noise as well. Not a chance. So a metal screwdriver. Very interesting. And then the final one, and I think the best one, actually, so I, I, I'd recommend going for it. It's a mini tenant. He's a mini David Tennant, so there he is. He's just going to sit here, like a good little boy is. Any chance you get to whip out that impression? Oh, yes. <laughs> I love whipping it out. Don't quote that. <laughs> Ooh. Child-friendly, you say. Doctor. You said keep it PG, I thought. <laughs> I did say that. Anyway, back to a Doctor Who question. And, oh, you're going to be wanting to write down lots for this. Oh. <laughs> War and peace. Now, there have been many non-numbered doctors over the years. <laughs> so, not counting, you know, Hartnell to 13. That's a weird way of saying it. So, not counting Hartnell to Whitaker. Name as many non-numbered doctors as you can. Can these be parodies? Yes. Perfect. So, if they have appeared on TV, it counts. Do Should we, I tell you how many... Do we many need the actor's name? Uh, you can have actor's name, you can Dream. have character, version. Should I tell them how many doctors there could potentially be? 31. <laughs> Please ignore my really bad spelling. There are 31 <laughs> possible answers here. Oh, I don't know. No, because I said in TV. If they've appeared on TV. Don't, don't you start arguing, Mr. Man at the front. You've got a big Finnish employee next to you. I'm surprised he didn't. <laughs> yeah. 
So I'm going to give him a minute. I'm going to give him a minute. So whilst they're writing, Jude, you finish quick. Can I ask you a question? Quickly? Of course, my darling. So some of the actors have appeared as two separate doctors. Is do, that right? Do I get two points for that? Potentially. Okay, cool. Thank Mind you. you. So Jude, whilst, you, whilst you, you, you've paused there, yeah. um, the Doctor Who community is quite vast, I think you'd agree. Is yeah. there anyone in the community that you'd like to shout out whilst you have a moment? I'll shout out Rory. Who? Rory. Front row Rassilon Productions. Never heard of him. Have tell you me, not? Tell me about him. Lovely audio series. Um, I've done a bit of a bit of it myself, not to brag, but uh, it was a lot of fun. And with some new actual live action stuff coming out soon, um, he's he's in cosplay quite a lot as his Doctor, which I think shows a lot of uh, dedication ah. to the role, which well, I, I quite enjoy. Stand up, Rory. Everybody, give him a hand. Rassilon Productions. <laughs> Woo. Highly recommended. Uh, let's see who's uh, they're still writing. Um, Abby, let's go to you. Is there anyone Hello. in the Hello. Is there anyone in the community that you would like to shout out in particular? By law. By law. I have to shout out Alia E. Tori. Oh, a she popular choice. She is a voice actress and oh my god, she is phenomenal. She does a lot of the fan audios, but she voices Missy, she voices the 13th Doctor, she voices my Mrs. Uh, Madame Vastra. Um, she, oh my god, like, her, she, her range is ridiculous, and I'm in slightly in love with this woman. Um, seriously, go find her on YouTube. She's in so much stuff, and she's so talented. Seriously. She's not here today, but ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ali Tori. She is fantastic. Woo. If you want an impressionist, go to her. And Josh, before we announce the answers, is there anyone in you would like to shout out in particular? Um, yes. I would like to shout out Miles Taylor from Tailored Vision, Ooh, because good choice. I've been listening to his fan audios recently, and they are amazing. Um, and there is a specific one called The Children of Earl Krig, or Earl King. You're looking Something at the like wrong that. person for the answer. It's, it's a bit scary, but it's very good. So oh, well, listen. again, he's not here today. Miles Taylor, give it up for him. Fantastic. There, it's all being recorded, so hopefully they'll see that. So. Let's go through. I'm just going to read them off, and you can tick as you go. Does that sound good? Yes. Yes. Yes, good. Are we allowed to argue? Are you allowed to argue? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. On my panel. Yes. Starting yeah, a debate right. now. Okay, so cool. here's what I've got. The Curator from Day of the Doctor. The War Doctor, played by John Hurt, of course. The Fugitive Doctor, Joe Martin. We love her. The Metacrisis Doctor from Journey's Oh, I heard an ah. Oh. <laughs> I know. I'm cheeky. The Dream Lord technically oh, counts. Wow. <laughs> by, by Toby Jones. We all love him. Oh, Needs so to come back. Come on now. The Valyard from Colin's tenure, of course. <laughs> oh, no. Mr. Favorite Doctor yeah. is Colin Baker. You I feel so much shame Fake right fan. now. Fake fan. Fake fan. Colin Baker, if you're watching, never meet this man. He is doesn't he? love you. It's too late. I've met him already. Damn it. The Watcher from Logopolis. <laughs> That was an unsure Logopolis. Did I just see a Vastra in the back row? Sorry, I've just gotten very distracted. I saw like a very similar silhouette. And <gasps> very Mom. good. Um, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. There are seven timeless doctors uh, played by mostly children that you might remember. I don't have the actors' <laughs> names down, but that is a potential seven points if you put timeless doctor. I, I put timeless, timeless child. That counts, seven points. Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to put down Morbius, and I thought, oh, no, I'd probably have to name them Oh, each. funny you should mention that. There are eight Morbius Doctors, played by Rob Holmes, uh, Gary, uh, Gary, George Galicio, Graham Harper, Douglas Camfield, Chris Who's Baker, Gary? Chris Barry, Rob Banks, Stuart, and Philip Who's Hinchley. Gary? So that's a potential eight points if you did write Morbius. I got two. I, I didn't write Morbius. Job. I love my job. Do you know that? I also, uh, Morbius, not to be confused with the hit film uh, b b b starring it's Jared Leto. It's more time. Jared Leto, what a talent. Love Morbius. Never watched it, never will. Um, there is something called The Caves Doctor, played by Mark Gatiss, of all oh. people. That counts. Yes. Yes. No. Lenny Henry. <laughs> yes. He played a parody doctor once. And there is, of course, all the people who played in The Curse of Fatal Death. So that's Rowan Atkinson, Richard E. Grant, Jim Broadbent, Hugh Grant, Joanna Lumley. We all love him. Two more, Peter Cushing, of course, and The Schalke Doctor, also played by Richard E. Grant. So again, that is 31 potential points. So Jude, how many did you get? Can I argue, please? Can you argue? Yeah, I yeah, can, can I argue as well? Come um, on, over here. Oh, okay, yeah, so 
This is the argue center. So I've got Stephen Fry. Oh, yes. Who was uh, a, an animated doctor in the 90s. Was he? Can anyone confirm that? Put your hand up if you can confirm that. Oh, Not a clue. Okay, that is a, that's a yes for Stephen Fry. Um, and Richard E. Grant was the doctor. Oh, no, you've already said that one. But Jim Broadbent was the doctor twice. Oh. In another parody, he sort of wore every costume at once. Can so anyone else confirm that? Okay, so that's an extra point for you. Have a seat, have a seat. Anyone else want to argue? I, I want to argue. Get up here, you. Get up here. <laughs> Wait, before, you stand up when you're talking before to me. I argue, did either of you write Cushing? I did write Cushing. No. You said TV only. I did. It's a movie. TV. Yeah, Josh, it's been not a TV Josh, how movie. Do you watch, how do you watch movies at home? Well, yeah, but I could watch anything <laughs> on, on a telly. <laughs> okay, well. Take it away. Take but it yes, away from him. Cushing can still count. Abby, I'm any arguments? Dirty. No. No, you're, you're scared, aren't you? I'm too scared. scared. Because, <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, keto. But yes, so let's see. How many How many did you get, Jude? How many get? Uh, so 17. 17 points to you. Josh? 21. 21 How's to Josh. <laughs> Abby, you look a bit, you look a bit sheepish. I got 10. <laughs> 10. Get 10 Woo! points, give it up. Wee. Well, let's see what that rounds up to before we get to our final question. Jude, how many did you have in total? Do some maths. 31. 31. Josh? 34. 34. 22. Abby, 22. <laughs> Fantastic, right? Now, Abby had a question. Josh had a question. Jude had a question. It's Jack Reeves time. Lovely. <laughs> I'd forgotten what question this was. This is going to annoy everyone. I've been very lucky. I just want to take this moment. I've been very, very fortunate in this community to grow as fast as I have. I only started the community show not even a year ago, and this is the second time I've been fortunate enough to do it. So, uh, and thank you again to everyone that's come. But that means I've had the opportunity to have quite the growth over the last year. Subscribers in particular. How many subscribers at this very point in time do I have to the nearest oh thank you <laughs> I thought that was a negative heckle I was about to be like oi but quite right yeah thank you <laughs> is it 10 so, this is going to be to the closest whoever's 25. the closest 25 to hey. the closest million no <laughs> yeah <laughs> so I should explain the closest gets 10 additional points the second closest gets five, and the last gets nothing. <laughs> That'll be me, though. Silcho <laughs> Pointo. Feel free to Google Jack Reeves, Doctor Who, in your phones to get the answer before these lot. Are we allowed to do that? No. Uh. Put your finger. And whilst they write down, I would like to invite, just quickly, Connor to the stage, because if you don't know, Connor Atkins is one of the most talented artists in this community, and I'm about to show you why. So, yeah, give it up for Connor, everybody. Way. So, he, yes, he is currently working on this massive Doctor Who mural. So he does one giant this size of every single Doctor. He's at number four right now. Do you want to show it off? Well, I should correct you here. Right next to this. I should actually correct you here, Jack. Each Doctor gets two sections this size. God's sake, Jack. <laughs> one job, Jack. Do your research, man. All right. <laughs> Well, someone's not getting invited back. <laughs> <laughs> Heckling from the panel. Oh, of course, sorry. <laughs> wow. Second doctor. Crikey. That is fit. Oh, he's loving that. Ooh. Third doctor. And third yet again. Look at the detail on that. Um, that is looking at. Um, Neil Jackson. No. Eddie Henry. Rowan Atkinson. So Ooh. just for the camera's sake, that she is a quarter of the way through, which is incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, Connor Atkins. Woo. Absolutely. 
Well, I'll have that. I just need to beat you, Josh. Then I get the screwdriver. Yeah, no matter what, I've lost. So I put my phone down. <laughs> I had the answers on it. Sad face. There we go. Right. Shall we get on with it? I have on my phone currently the exact number. Oh, it's gone up. Bang. So. Uh, one person that's just subscribed. Correct. Thank you. So, Abby, what have you got? Turn it around. 1.4 thousand. Okay. Josh, what do you think? 1,357. That's very specific. Okay. And Jude? I feel bad for putting the lowest number, and okay. I don't want to insult, but I've got <laughs> 1,326. That's all right. I'm not offended. So, <laughs> he, in he invited you on. Only a measly, a measly 1.3. <laughs> the correct answer. And a reminder, first gets 10 extra points, second gets five, and last gets naff. I was about to swear. We're all very 1,600. Thank you. <laughs> I've still lost. And 50. So raise your, raise your boards up. Let's see. Let's see. So Abby gets... Oh, no. Yeah, Abby gets 10 points. Josh gets five. Jude... Nothing. This is what you get when you underestimate my power. I deserved that. I deserved it. <laughs> so, total up your scores. Total up. Total up. Total up. And then we'll see who gets first dibs. <laughs> also, I should Please mention, don't take this on those it, Josh. who have spotted this, you might see there's four. Uh, the lovely George Sheard, a uh, very, very popular reviewer, was supposed to be here. But uh, apparently he double booked. Sorry, George. Was Comic-Con not enough? Take I'll try that. better next time, He's George. He's too busy show running. Yeah. <laughs> Look, someone's got to come after RTD. RTD's returning. Could you believe that? Right. Let's see. Hey, Abby, what you got? 32. 32. All right. 32 points. Josh, babe, what you got? 39. 39. Ooh. Jude. 31. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Josh Carr. Woo! You may take your pick. I wonder what you're going to choose, Josh. He, re he, oh, he really wants the Sonic, and I don't want to be mean. <laughs> I mean, Mini uh, Tenant is right there. I don't want Mini Tenant. Oi! <laughs> that was harsh. Yeah, no, I, I am taking a Sonic. <laughs> oh, oh so much. Raise it a lot. <laughs> Thank you so Josh much. Carr. Now, sorry, but you'll have to remind me. 31. Abby, how many did you get? 32. 32. So, second place. <laughs> Abby Louise, take <laughs> what you wish. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have got it anyway. The underdog. That's a comeback, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, Abby Louise. <laughs> right, I'm a single mum. And? I have to bring that up. And he is obsessed with 10, so obviously I'm going to have to have mini 10. <laughs> you, you've, you've done well there. Uh, also, done give well. it up you for well. her little son, Noah. We love Noah. Noah will be watching at home. Fantastic. I love <laughs> Noah. I did Time Fracture with Abby, sure. Noah, and my beautiful other half in the front. How about I give you a pair? If you haven't done Time <laughs> Fracture with a child do it. It's incredible. There's a point, I won't spoil it, where Cybermen are there and he, everyone's sort of screaming, panicking, and Noah goes, don't worry, they're only actors. <laughs> I love it. that he voice. Loves it. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I'm, I've been neglecting you. Hi, babe. You alright? Oh, thank you. Hello. How's it going? So, Jude, babe, what happened? Um, I am not a fan enough of the community show and I need to sort myself out. I think you that's do. what's happened. You do. I need to repent for my Fake sins. Man. Well, you can repent by getting, a, to be fair, a fairly good prize. I Ladies think so. and gentlemen, Jude Lavis. Hey. Beautiful. Now, uh, how are we doing on time? How are we doing on time? Anyone got the time? Who's going to... Fantastic. We've still got time for a Q&A. &A. So, I'm going to run into the audience. I'm going to chase all of you down. Who would like to ask a question to any of our panellists here? Hey, babe, how you doing? What's your name? Gemma. You're looking all right tonight. <laughs> the concra the Thanks. contractually obliged Just for the sake of it, question yeah, um, from a fiancé. Who, who are you to me? <laughs> your fiancé. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, my fiancé, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What's your question? Um, how do you feel about the new doctor being announced? What, David Tennant? No. Which one? Shooty. Shooty. How are we feeling about Shooty? Who's got an answer? I'm um, well excited. Buzzing. Excited, buzzing. He's wonderful. I love him to Fantastic. bits. How are you all feeling about Shooty? Give us a cheer. Ooh. Shooty Gatwa. It is a good choice, I think, I reckon. And my 
decision is final. Hands up, who's also got a question? Ah, uh, him in the front. Hello, what's your name? Hello. Uh, my name is Rory, but I also go as Raslon because I can't pick one. Uh, my question for them, and I've got one for you as well, for them, it's what doctor would you like to return for the 60th, and why is it Lenny Henry? And for you, <laughs> for you, uh, seeing as you're dressed as Pertwee, and I've always wanted to ask Pertwee this question, but uh, do you know where Sanusi is? What, where is what in? It's where Sanusi is. Where Sanusi is. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a bit old in my ears. Uh, well, I'm assuming that's a reference to something. Um, I'm going to be Googling that later. I haven't the foggiest of what he said. So, uh, <laughs> for the other question, who's going to chime in? I know what the Zanussi thing is referencing, but it's not acceptable to say on stage, so. Rory! <laughs> Please do sake. not allow your children we'll watch to Google that. <laughs> There's a child in the front row, Rory. Hi, Hayden. I love your cosplay, by the way. Beautiful face. I'm loving Sorry. all the cosplays, can yeah. I just say? I can see faces. Everybody stand up if you've got like a cosplay on. I want to I see. Doctor Who or otherwise, I want to see it. Amazing. Look at everything. Right, is that a Vastra? This 11th because Doctor if that's one a Vastra, is amazing. I have to legally oblige. I Fantastic. have to have a picture with you. Right, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and Mum, Mum, I did lock the door. We're fine. Okay, sorry. You may sit back down. Which is working everybody's leg. Up, down, no. The question was, what Doctor would you like to return for the 60th? Abby, let's right. go Right, I'm going to be a really big Finnish fan right now. Oh, here we go. Shock. So, Last time they got call it, they got Tom Baker in as the creator. Big Finish have just had an audio where Colin Baker is the curator, and secretly I would like to see him on screen as the creator as Who well. Who agrees? Six Doctor return. <laughs> Woo! All right, uh, Josh, what do you think? Um, the Purple Doctor. Oh, Dominic G. Martin. First. Should he be in the sixth year? It's yes. not a return, but nah. still waiting for that televised appearance. Um, Capaldi, always Capaldi. Capaldi return, what do we think? Should Capaldi always. come back? Or popular choice? Jude, what do you think? Well, I was going to say Colin, and then I was going to say Capaldi. But well, that's gone well, isn't it? Thinking about it now, uh, I'd say Eccleston, my childhood doctor. Oh, oh Eccleston oh, return, yeah. what do we think? Absolutely. Oh, there's an Eccleston in the crowd, that works. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I just kind of want whoever they can get, really. Whoever's most convenient. Because we know Tennant, almost certainly. I mean, we've seen him in Camden, haven't we? But, like, as many as we can get. And if you can't get, you know, Pertwee, for example, Sean Pertwee exists. I'm just, I know it's a popular thing, but Sean Pertwee, David Bradley, whoever for Troughton. I'm sure there's Troughton's a good Troughton's grandson. Troughton's grandson, He's sorted. Harry Melling. Harry Melling from Harry Potter, it's his grandson. There we go, sorted. Right, hands up, who else has got a question? Oh, we've got one. Oh, hello, Conan. Conan? You're not, that's your name. Hey, Connor. Hi, Connor. What's your question? All right, very generic. Uh, it's been nearly a decade since any missing episodes were recovered. Of the 97 episodes that are still missing, and this is for you as well, Jack, which story do you want to see come back? Why is everyone trying to show off that I'm not a classic who buff? <laughs> ah, the missing episodes, I think. Any from the 60s, man. Oh, dude, love them. Hartnell, Troughton, the other one, love them. All of them. Bring them. Oi. There isn't another Cop one. Out. Uh, sorry, another let, one. let me turn to people who might know what they're saying. Hey, Abby. I can't say it, so don't laugh at my pronunciation. <laughs> the ab abominable snowman. The abominable snowman, that's a good choice. We all want to see the abominable snowman. Me too. <laughs> the abominable snowman, I love him. Josh, what do you think? Um... Marco Polo. Marco Polo, that's first Doctor, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. See, you know your stuff. I'm doing so well, aren't I? Thank God I'm not one of the quizzers, because oh, I would have did terrible. Sorry, right, Jude. Um, because this will literally never be animated because of how massive the episode is, I would say the Daleks' master plan. Oh, Daleks' master plan. That's oh. one I know. <laughs> that's how popular it is. I know it. Yeah. Fantastic answers. What do we think? Any more questions? Any more questions? Pop your hand up. Oh, there's one there. Oh. Get me work out today. Hello, what's your name? Megan. Hello, Megan. What's your question? Out of all the new who, what is your favourite two-parter? Thank oh, you. That's a question I can oh. answer. Oh, 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 they're getting ready. Look at them. They're getting ready for this question. I'll throw it to you first. Jude, what do you think? This is not only the best two-parter. It's the best episode of Doctor Who ever. The Impossible Planet and the Satan Pit. Oh, do we agree? Oh, there's Great a big shout. agree there. Great shout. Oh, Josh is the Toby. same. Toby. <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn We are around. the Legion of the Beast. I... I swap 
all the time. It's a dead heat between human nature, family of blood, and empty child, Dr. Dances. Oh, fantastic choices. Abby, what do you think? Yeah, I was going to say human nature, family of blood, so... Yeah. And I'd have to agree with Josh with um, The Empty Child. Although, really, all of them are fantastic answers. Does anyone have any different answers for that question? Anybody, anybody, anybody? I'll say this on behalf of my child, Age of Steel. He is obsessed with Cybermen. And I, the amount of times I've had to watch that two-parter, it's ridiculous. But, but in all fairness, it was the first time we saw the Cybermen on screen for yeah. years. So it was probably a, a big deal. Like. That is an excellent choice. Also, you have not seen Cute until you've seen a child dance to the Cyberman theme music that Murray Cold made. Wow. Brilliant. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Any more questions for me? Oh, there's an echo still at the back. Ignored. Hi. What's your name? <laughs> Jack. Hi, Jack. Good, good name. What's your question? Um, I'd like to ask, ask this for all of you. Um, what is your favorite Dalek story? Mine is, uh, mine is either Dalek from Series 1 or Remembrance of the Daleks. Fantastic choices. What do we think? I'm going to throw it to Josh first. What do you think? I'm um, struck my stuff. I would probably say they are probably two and three for me. Ooh. But top would be Bad Wolf Part in the Ways. Ooh. Good choice. The Eccleston regeneration story. Oh. Our hearts were broken that day, and it will never recover. Jude, what do you think? I wouldn't be a Sixth Doctor fan if I didn't say Revelation. Um, Davros in that story is on top form, the best Dalek story, underrated classic. Are you classic. saying that because Davros is right there? I don't want him to send up a two to Don't upset Dave. I'm no, really scared Dave. of Dave. He's yeah. going to kill me if I don't say one of his. Abby, can I guess you have a big finish answer? Uh, no, I'm not going to say it. Well, if I was going to mention a big finish, I cannot remember for the life of me what it's called, Jude. No, not Jubilee. Not but Jubilee. Not. The not one Jubilee. with Constance Clark, with the um, the stainless, the stained glass, the stained glass steel, the that. stained glass um, Dalek. Just for the cover, like oh my god! But on screen, it's two, and it's the first Victoria one that was recently animated. Evil, oh, evil, 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 evil of the Daleks. Oh, evil, that's a popular choice. I feel like it's very underrated. And two, riding on the back of a Dalek and them all going, Dizzy Daleks, Dizzy Daleks. <laughs> it's just like, they're playing, Jamie, they're playing. We Excellent love choice. And I'd have to go Dalek. It's a classic and a new who rolled into one. I love it so much. Any more questions? All right, Dom, I'll come to you. <laughs> Hi, Dom. Grudging, aren't you? Yeah. Anyway, you're all working on your own fan audio productions. But I would like to ask, if you had the chance to feature any TV companion played by their original performer, who would you pick? Good question, good question. That's all. Okay, Abby, straight in. I have been looking for a Bill Potts for so long. There's a Bill Potts in the audience. <laughs> there you go, you got her. <laughs> and I would be like, Pell Mackey, please come and be Bill, because I haven't found one. And, like, who better than the original, you know? And I, I have three or four scripts that I haven't been able to use because we have no Bill Potts. And I believe one of them you have given to Rory Guest in the front there. Yes, I have, yeah. <laughs> and it's Pearl Mackey's birthday. And it is, is it yeah. Happy birthday, Pearl. This, you won't see this until like a week she's after. She's not here. Oh, she's, she's not available right Mackie. now, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so Josh, what do you think? Um, Joe Grant, played by oh, Katie Manning. Joe Grant returns. That to would be. be great. And Jude, what do you think? Because it's a crime that he's not appeared in the TV show. It's got to be Ian Chesterton, of course. Fantastic choice, fantastic. And I've, on the same vein, I've got to go Susan. Good old, good old four man. I love her. She, how, she, how is she not returned? Doctor's granddaughter, for goodness sake. Anyway, uh, I believe we have time for one or two more questions. One at the back, I'm running. All right, what's your name? Uh, my name is Ryan. I wanted to know, what do you guys think about Catherine Tate and David Tennant coming back for the 60th anniversary? Well, I think. No, they shouldn't have done it. No, of course. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> I missed that. Jude was being rude. Ju rude Jude? I wasn't, I swear. No. The question was, from a lovely chap at the back, what do you think about David Tennant and Catherine Tate returning? Just let's give me a word. Give me a word to give your thoughts. Belter. What was the word? Banter. Banter. Oh, banter. Sorry. No, <laughs> not banter. Belter. Ben what? Belter. Oh, belter. Sorry, I can't it's too hear. Northern. <laughs> belter, Jude. Uh... Fantastic. Fantastic, Abby. <laughs> Intrigued. Intrigued, and I am so excited. <laughs> One more question, what do we think? And the front, Master. Hello, Master. Hello. Actually, uh, relating to the Master, what is your favorite Master story? 
Favorite master story. What do we think? What do we think? Uh, Dark Water, because Missy. That's fair. We, you gotta love Missy. All right, what Go do we wrong. think? Uh, World Enough in Time and The Doctor Falls. Fantastic choice, Jude. Um, I'm going to go with Utopia because I absolutely love Derek Jacobi and the small amount that we saw him on screen. That's exactly what I was going to say. Utopia. Derek Jacobi deserved more on screen, but apparently his audio is very good. I haven't listened to it. Good. Good. Uh, maybe one more question. I think we have time. Oh, little man in the back. Hello, what's your name? What's your favourite Doctor Who monster or alien? Monster or alien, what's our favourite? I mean, I've got to go Daleks. I know it's a very standard choice, but look at them. They're so pretty and cool. They, are they invaded very pretty. the panel. That's so cool. What do we think? Cybermen. Cybermen. Easy. Fantastic choice. Um, I'm going to be a contrarian. I'm going to go for one of my favorites, the Slitheen. The Slitheen. Good choice. Good choice, Abby. The Silence. The Silence. They should come back. They should. They are undeniably fantastic. And, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have time for genuinely one final question this time, because I've been given the signal. One question. Oh, I see you. I'm running. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, what's your name? Uh, Patrick. Patrick, what's your question? What are your biggest hopes from RTD2 and Shooty? Well, what do we think? So, RTD coming back. What's your thoughts? Shooty, what's your thoughts? Um, what's I your just, hopes, I should I say? I just sorry. want something very different. I want something new and fresh and... Intensely political. Yes. Fair enough. <laughs> Jude, what do you think? Um, I want Russell to use his experience since being on Doctor Who with It's a Sin and all those other things that he's done to use that to inform how he writes characters in the new series. Because he does it well before. He's going to do it brilliantly again. Absolutely. And Abby, what do you think? Like, we all have that faith in RTD because obviously he brought it back before. There is one thing I would love to see, though, and I have to point this out. I want a historical companion. Yes. Somebody 100%. From the past, yes, 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 yes. Rather yes. than like, yeah, but the you're Jenny girl. Flint, of course you want that. I just want the Victorian. <laughs> yeah, but let's face it, like, Victorian Clara would have been better, just saying. Yes. Quite right, quite right. Jamie McCrimmon. Jude Histo is my historical <laughs> I companion am. in my audio. Series. Exactly. Oh, you plugged shout out. it right at the end. I am. Right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that is all the time we have. Thank you for coming along. Give it up for my guests. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And enjoy the rest of MCM London Comic Con. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>